increase my knowledge um, with, with the dua. Um, so we've been learning the rules of uh, uh, meme sakina or meme shafwi. Okay. So uh, I'm going to please check your student ID so that you're labeled correctly and that your um, number is correct as well. Uh, so you may write your name after number. Um, thank you for joining on time. We know that there are three rules, three different rules. The first rule is a meme sakin followed by a meme shadad, and we will press on the meme for two seconds. Uh, we'll hold on that meme. We'll give it a strong gunna. Means we'll. Press you know, um, and uh, that uh, um, mean uh, rule. And Ikhwa Shafi is when we have um, a mean sakina followed by a bar, and we still give this a two second uh, time duration, but uh, we don't give it a gunna, we give it a sort of hit. so we don't press on it much. Uh, you know, as much as we press it on the other arm. And the uh, rule is is harsh, uh, which means if there's no meme and there's there's a meme, no uh, uh, meme uh, followed after it or a bar followed after it, then we just uh, and we not uh, do any gun on it. We don't give it any time. We just re read it very quickly. So that is the 26 remaining letters. We see uh, bar and not mean. So this sums it up, you know, 20 and one letter memes together to the Idgham and um, the Ikhta where meme talking is followed by the bar. Okay, so that's the bar. So if there's no mean, no bar, then we, uh, the rest of 26 letters, Followed after means talking will be read clearly. We've also learning the rules talking and the mean. Mustn't confuse too because they have in this uh, rule of Guam and a club. This is completely different. Um, and I don't know if legitimately. So um, if your hands up, then you know how to explain this. Uh, Aslam Lekum. Aslam Lekum. Who's of meme sucking? Yeah? Yeah. Who's of meme sucking? What happens when uh, you, you uh, talk in rule for Idram? Yeah. Can you tell us how you, do, how you would read that? Yeah. Show me how this. Yeah. I will be like him in a shade on a regime. Can you read this one better? Lakuma. And this one? Kutumbihi. Okay, so let's give this more time. Kutumbihi. Okay, and this one? This one here. Oh, Amta. Okay, we don't give this one any time. And Amta. We just say this very quickly. And Amta. Anamta. Oh, okay. Jazakumla. Uh, so kind of you to enjoy. Uh, so Jazakumla. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, we got to hear your beautiful, beautiful voice. Uh, so that was lovely hearing uh, Labika today. And I hope that uh, other students can join us in the future. So here we did a strong, okay, Zam. It was meme, by me. For example, here we did Ikhbar. 
and there was a meme sucking followed by a bar. So they, we pressed on this for the same amount of time as this one, as the years gone, but we pressed, this, the duration is the same, but this is a lighter guna. Here, we, is, we, we do is hard, we do not stay on this, you know, we just read it very quickly. So it's coming up time for uh, Tilavat, and I uh, will ask you to please, um, we have learned in, uh, in classes to, you know, uh, honor the Holy Quran. And so that I would ask you kindly to ensure that you join classes on time. Now you should have prepared for your class by 5.40. You should eat before 5.40. And then, um, you know, ensure that you're, you're preparing by joining class, um, you know, and performing uh, your hands, your teeth, you, you know, should be clean. Uh, make sure that you unfold with you. Make sure that your head is covered. Ensure uh, that you don't eat and drink in class. Ensure that you read the Quran loudly, even while you're on mute. Um, make sure that you join at 5.50 using a computer, iPad or laptop. Do not join with a, um iPhone or, you know, any mobile because the screen will be too small for you uh, and you won't be able to read the text. Um, like I said before, recite very loud, even if you are on mute, and ensure to keep it quiet and that you're going in class so there's no, um, you know, uh, other background noise, um, you know, when you join class and uh, when you unmute, you don't disturb other students. Check before you join class that you're displaying the correct student ID and room number and stay till the end well and uh, make sure that, uh, you know, you sit in a place where uh, your um, internet connection is good. You know, you can move around and check um, and see if you've got five bars or, you know, four bars on your computer. Um, and stay till the end of our and make sure that you give your teacher your Quran reading stage uh, information. That is the chapter number, the chapter number and the verse number. And I'm going to pass you on now. Jazakumullah. Okay, so let's, uh, it's a PowerPoint, so I might come to you. Uh, slowly via Zoom. Uh, let's start from the beginning. So, um, that's fine. So, Nina, uh, Mrs. Chagil, you're going to be on standby, but inshallah, inshallah, the internet will be okay. So, today is Thursday. Week, oh, your screen is clear. To... Your screen <laughs> is clear. Okay, okay and your let's go to day four first. Let's get the day right. Okay, here we are. So, uh, week 12, day four. So, we're completing uh, uh, 12th week. That means you have done three months with us, mashallah. Okay, three months, and we spent at least one month on noon sakin rules. And ikhfa is the one that you need to start applying now. If anyone who doesn't apply ikhfa, you need to do that now at the weekend. Okay, so today's lesson we're going to have tilawat. Then we're going to do a recap of what we've done this week and then quiz. So listen carefully and join in um, when we run the quiz for you. So let's start our uh, lesson. Uh, with the recitation of the Holy Quran. And I believe today we have Amatul Hadi uh, to do Tilawat for us. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? Good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. I'm good as well. Looking forward to listening to your, um, your Tilawat. Are you ready? Si. Okay. Just take a pause at the verse end and everyone at home while you're on mute, recite after her. So start when you're ready, please. Si. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Iza jaa nasrullahi wal fath Wa ra'aytum nasa yadkhuluna fi dinillahi afwaja فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَاسْتَغْفِرْهِ إِنَّهُ 
kana tawwa ba jazakla Oh, Jazakallah to Amatul Hadi. That was beautiful. I really, really like your tune. It reminded me of the time when I used to take part at Ijtama. And this was one of the very famous tunes, right? I don't know if you can do not know that. But Masha, you've done a wonderful job. Well done. Looking forward to uh, listening to your prayer now when you do at the end of the lesson. Uh, I would just like to point out a few things uh, for all of us uh, that when we are stopping at Futatain, so we've done the rules of works. Uh, we're going to plug this for only two counts. And here, you go ahead and apply your melody. Okay, these are, uh, this is, and when you're doing your runa for two counts, sound and your madad, that's when you can apply it. Stopping at uh, fatatein, we're going to make two counts sound. So this is the rule of work we've already learned. Okay, so all of us, we need to remember this when we remember. Um, okay. So this is the surah that you, you should have now memorized. And this is not the first time because like I said, we've done three months of this course now and you should have memorized this. Now you need to apply the rules. So this one is your six sounding letters, Hu, okay? And now you know the rules of Waqf, you know Swad is your thick sounding letter and it is mostly mispronounced with sound of seen, the F sound, uh, but we're going to say Nas, we're going to make our mouth rounder. And this is the rule we have done uh, this week. Meme Sakina rules are known as Shafavi. And what did we say? We said that this is going to be is Hare Shafavi. If Meme Sakina is followed by letters other than Ba and Meme Mutharik, Rain is a thick sounding letter. Okay, so now we should know that all the rules that you can apply to this surah. And let's have a quick recap of three Shafavi rules. Listen very carefully because then you'll be taking part in the quiz. So what did we do this week? Let's have a look. Okay, so we've done uh, this week, we've done, last week we did two rules. And did, uh, you know what? Yeah, we did the rules uh, over two weeks. So three rules of Meme Sakina we did over two weeks. But remember I said that the main rule for you to learn this week is Ikhfa. Okay, because the other two, uh, you already know, they're just giving you the label for those. Okay, so the first one was idram, idram means merging. Then we said ikhfa, which means hiding. And then we learned izhar. The terminology is not new to you because all this has been used for nun sakin rules as well. So if I ask you what idram means, you can say it means merging. But you are not going to say that, are you? You're going to be very precise. If I say, what does it mean? Of, then you're going to say which one, miss? Of noon sakin or mean sakin? Okay, you should know uh, the, that you, you're going to be using the terminology for two different letters. Okay, now then, what did we learn next? Letters of each rule. We said for is hard, there are 26 letters. For ikhfa, there is one letter, which is ba. And for idram, it's meme, one letter, and meme is normally mutharik because it appears after meme sakina, okay? And you won't see two sakin letters. And idram means to merge, which means that we are merging the sound of meme sakina into the next mutharik letter. Your clue to idram, if you don't remember the name idram over there is the sign shadda, okay? The letter will be mushaddad, meaning you are joining, you are merging the previous sound. Whether it's noon sakin or meme sakin, you know, for that, uh, for the idram to take place, the next letter is going to carry the sign of shadda. And that's why we say strong runa. Right, let's have a look at the application of the rules. We said for is har, we're going to read clearly. If I say, what are we going to read clearly? The next letter, the letter that comes after meme sakina or, the, or meme sakina itself, you're going to say, we are going to read meme sakina clearly. Remember, we are talking about the M sound when we talk about Shafavi rules, meme sakina, the M sound. So don't just say read clearly, you're going to say read meme sakina clearly. Here, I've just summarized it for you. So meaning no runa or you're not going to prolong it in any way. So ikhfa means to hide. We're going to hide the meme sakina sound very slightly. While we're doing that, we're going to make the nasal sound Remember the definition of gunna is sustained nasal sound. Sustained means we are keeping that nasal sound for two counts, okay? No, no less than two counts. Uh, and that's for letter ba and we do ikhfa. 
And for idgham, we do strong guna. Remember when you learned about shada, you said we stress the letter. Okay, we don't read it. We don't read it gently. So uh, when we give you the examples, for example, let, let, let me see if I have examples. Oh no, we haven't got examples yet. <laughs> Remember the examples which you had in your breakout rooms. Alaykum. You're not going to say kum. That's when I. That's what I mean when I say strong. If you just say alaykum, that's not merging. You're just holding. You're doing it further. The merging, that's why we say strong. When I say kum, so you're going to jump off the calf onto me by stressing that. And it's some power, I say. That's why I associate shadavi. You're just holding on to the M sound for two counts, and then you're going to gently move on and read the next letter, which is going to be mutharik, and it's not going to have shadda. Okay? So in your breakout rooms, uh, yesterday I asked the teachers, to make the two sounds of idgham and ikhfa so you can hear the difference, okay? I can, I can write it out to you. I can say the word light and strong, but you need to hear it to know the difference, okay? So we said, tarmihim bihija. And then for guna, we say, we said, ilaikum. Okay, that's the difference. So start applying this rule now. Okay, let's get ready for our quiz. I will read the questions to you, and on your devices, you will get the options. You choose, uh, you choose them, okay? So best of luck, teachers, ACL, um, Mrs. Shaquille, and all our teachers, attendance officer, do take part, okay? Best of luck. Okay, okay. Are we ready? Raise your hands if you're ready. At the moment, 16 of you are ready. I want 100 hands raised, at least. Come on, quick, quick. <laughs> All right, best of luck. My first question is, what does mean sakina mean? Does it mean A, mean bearing? Oh, I can't see that. <laughs> Let me move this. Uh, mean bearing um, uh, shada or mean bearing fatha or mean bearing sukun. What does mean sakina mean? The clue is the word sakina. Do you know the sign? Okay, so majority of you are saying that it is C, Meem Sakina. Let's have a look. Now, only 70 of you are taking part. Come on, teachers, you can join in as well. Oh, right, the right answer is C, uh, Meem Bearing Sukun. So well done, you've got for majority of you who've got it right. Okay, the color should change, but for some reason it didn't for the answer. That's uh, when we run this PowerPoint in Zoom, sometimes uh, it doesn't behave the way we want it, unfortunately. L let's hope this one gets better. Question two, how many rules of Meem Sakina are there? Are there three, four, or five? Come on, students, there's a lot of, there's only 60% uh, of you are taking part. Okay, majority of you, 81% are going for three. So let's find out. Teachers, raise your hands if you have answered this as well. Just so I can get an idea of how many students are taking part. Come on, my teachers. Come on, teachers. You are allowed to take part. So take part. Raise that number for me. Excellent, excellent. Right, let's have a look at the answer. So majority of going for three. And let's see. Oh, it's not changing the color. It's three. I'll just have it. Okay, done. Question three. Idram means to A, merge or combine, or B, read clearly. So you should get an option on your screen. Okay, so I've been informed by a student that you can't see the option. Is that right, uh, Mrs. Shakil? Can you see the option on your screen? Absolutely can, yeah. Oh, wow, okay. Come on, students, pay attention. All right, so majority of you are going for merging. Excellent, so 99% of you, super. Let's see if you're right. Oh, for good, like, it just changes to next slide. Yeah, the answer is A, merging. Okay, okay, let's move on to question four. Idram shafi means idram of mean sakina. Is it true or false?
not many of you are taking part in the quiz. When we started the quiz, it was very popular and everyone said, yes, yes, we want the quiz. So I sat down and I made the questions for you just for Thursdays, okay? So extra work from me, so do take part. Uh, right, the answer is A, true. Idrama Shafiri means the Ram of Meen Sakina. Let's move on to the next question. Idrama Shafiri takes place when Meen Sakina is followed by the letter Ba, Meen, or Noon. So you should get option, choose wisely. I hope our teachers are also taking part and enjoying the quiz. Teachers, raise your hands if you answered this. I'm not getting many of you to take part, unfortunately. Come on, teachers, I can see you. I can see, I know who you are. You're not taking part, come on. Okay, let's have a look. So majority is going for B, uh, B meme. Uh, let's have a look. So the correct answer is B, well done. 78% uh, of you. All right, next question. Idram Shafi is applied as follows. We do light runa or we do strong runa. Okay, let's have a look. Majority, okay, are you still choosing? Okay, let me just check. Okay, majority of you are going for do strong guna for Idrama Shafi, 83% of you, and the quest, the answer is B. So well done for getting that right. Next question is, so teachers, raise your hands if you answer this question. I want all 20 teachers to take part in this and all of the students as well, because not many of you are taking part at the moment. Uh, this is a quiz which we don't want to get rid of for next Thursday. If it's not, if you don't take part, then we'll, leave, we'll have to leave it. Okay, let's move on to question nine or question eight. Nine, I think. <laughs> nine, nine. Yes, is har means to read a clearly or with light wuna. Okay, can you hear me now? Mrs. Shigil, can you hear me okay? Absolutely. Yes, you can. Okay, that's a good thing then, isn't it? I'm getting Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Voice, uh, sound is clear. Jazakumullah. Excellent. Jazakumullah. Okay, so 90% of you are saying that is har means to read clearly, and you are absolutely right. Is har means to read clearly. All right, next question. No, oh goodness me, look what, <laughs> look what is done. <laughs> uh, ignore this, ignore this. It's not a light rule. Nice means A, read clearly. Question 10 Is Hari Shafi is applied as follows? A, read Meme Sakina clearly, or B, do light rule? Which one is it? Okay, okay, so majority of you, that's 89% of you are saying that we're going to read Meme Sakina clearly. Let's see if you're right. It didn't change. Oh my goodness, that's, uh, that's just um, PowerPoint checking my knowledge, right? <laughs> the answer is A, read Meme Sakina clearly. Okay. Question 11, the rule of Ishar, Ishar Shafi is applied to two letters, 15 letters or 26 letters. So the rule of is hard. Okay, so only 63% of you think that it's 26 letters. So that's the, the right answer is 26 letters. Okay, so Jazakumullah everyone for taking part in the quiz today, well done. And now we're going to go in our breakout rooms and uh, do a bit of reading and apply all three rules of Meme Sakina. 